Hello, and welcome to Credit Matters TV. I'm Xavier Jean, Standard & Poor's Singapore. Today, we'll speak about PTT exploration and production with our SNP oil and gas analyst in Singapore, Andrew Wong. Hi, Andrew. Hi, Xavier. So Andrew, the triple B plus rating on PTT exploration and production is on a negative outlook. Why is that? Uh, a few reasons. Uh, the primary reason is that uh, we believe that the debt will be uh, elevated in the next two years, outside of our expectations for the rating and its financial risk profile. Uh, and that's due to the company's stated growth plan. Uh, and the second thing is, is that this stated growth plan, which will be funded with debt, uh, signifies, in our opinion, uh, slightly higher financial risk tolerance uh, for the company. So how does the recent acquisition of Cove Energy factor into our rating? Uh, well, the, the rating and the outlook already factors in uh, uh, an acquisition of Cove's magnitude and the uh, associated debt that would come with it. Uh, so that's, that's factored into uh, what our expectation is for, for weaker metrics. On the business side, though, we haven't factored in any benefit as yet, uh, and that's because the asset uh, uh, has a, a longer term in, in which it can start generating cash flows. Uh, which is in another six years, and until then there is material execution and uh, completion risk uh, before that can be factored into the business risk. The company has announced uh, potential equity raising, so how would this affect our view about PTTEP's rating? Uh, well, we do view the, the capital raising as a credit positive, and uh, it's likely to improve the company's uh, capital structure. Uh, However, we do believe that this uh, benefit could be temporary, and uh, there's four reasons why, why that's the case. Uh, the first one is that their existing uh, assets are showing a declining production trend, and will, uh, the production will peak in 2014. Uh, secondly, the, the new assets that they've acquired in Canada and uh, also uh, Cove in Mozambique will not materially add to production in the next two or three years. Uh, the third reason is that that means that uh, there will be a lot of organic uh, expenditure to, to increase the organic growth in their existing assets, so exploration expenditure will rise. And uh, fourthly, it means that they're likely to look at potentially more acquisitions to, uh, to hit their uh, stated growth targets of 500,000 barrels of oil equivalent per day by 2015. Andrew, final question. Today, uh, we have a debt to EBITDA threshold of one time for the triple B plus rating on PTTEP. Why is this ratio set so onerously? Uh, well, it is a ratio which is typical or, or is a benchmark ratio for the minimal category of financial risk as we define it. And we have an intermediate financial risk uh, category assessment on PTTEP, so it is onerous. Uh, the reason is, is uh, the business risk profile is, is weaker than the financial risk profile, in our opinion, for uh, three reasons. One is the uh, increasing industry risk. Uh, weaken, uh, the second one is the weakening profitability. And, uh, and the third reason is that uh, PTTP has limited integration, so it's more exposed to uh, volatility in oil and gas prices. Uh, that ratio could change, but that, uh, that would come if we uh, improve our assessment of the business risk profile but we don't necessarily want that to happen uh, at the expense of the financial risk profile uh, in the short term. Thank you, Andrew, for sharing our insights. To obtain further information on this commentary, please click on the right side of this video. Thank you for watching Credit Matters TV.